So do you think there are ways that a fam- person's uh, family history, so if one is of course you can do a genetic analysis mm-hmm. and find out. I'm sure today you probably ask them about their family history. Yes, yes, because yes. a lot of Yeah, there are, there are many skin conditions that uh, require a family history. I think they, in fact genetics play a very important role. The most commonly, uh, you know, the com- most common uh, scenario that we see is baldness. You know, the male it's male pattern baldness. And the name goes by it, androgenetic alopecia is the medical term for it. So androgens do play a role, the male hormones, and with that we have genetics into the picture. And uh, if you, it's, of course, it's not necessarily that if you have a family history, then uh, subsequently you are uh, going to get it 100%, but you are more prone for getting it. So whether it is the AGA, androgenetic alopecia, even other physical conditions like you know there is uh, vitiligo. In vitiligo there is a genetic uh, probability of you getting it. So well, like that there is epidermolysis bullosa. So there are many other skin conditions that do have a you know genetic uh, role to uh, play into it.